the development of this project, I was helped by PCBWay, which is one of the most experienced PCB manufacturing company in China in field of PCB prototype and fabrication. If you want to make your own PCB for this project or for any other electronic project, PCBWay is a great choice. They have a large online community when, where you can find the open source project and you can also share your project there. From my personal experience, I can tell you that on this community you can find many useful projects with already designed PCBs from uh, where you can place an order directly. Also, you can get 10 PCBs for only $5. So if you want your PCB, just type pcbway.com on your browser. Hello? A uh, valve amplifier of tube amplifier is a type of electronic device that uses vacuum tubes to increase the amplitude or power of uh, audio signal. Until the invention of the transistor, all electronics amplification was produced by valve amplifiers. Nowadays, these amplifiers are again popular among audio audiophiles and their price is usually very high. Valve amplifiers produced greater amounts of total harmonic distortion, but this type of distortion, second harmonic, is not as disturbing to the ear and is perceived as a warm, pleasant sound, especially when playing instruments where these amplifiers, amplifiers are still indispensable. This type of amplifiers are not very popular with do-it-yourselfers, mostly because they uh, use high voltages, more than 200 volts, which are usually difficult to perform and very dangerous. This time I will describe to, describe to you how to make a very simple single tube amplifier that also works at a low voltage and is powered by 12 volts DC. As we can see in the schematic diagram, the device consists of several parts which I, which I will describe individually. The power supply part consists of uh, 12 volt source of DC voltage with, uh, which is then increased to uh, 40 volts through the DC-DC boost module which is needed to power the tube anode. Uh, the heating voltage of this lamp is 16 volts 300 milliamperes and is obtained and is obtained at the output of the 7815 uh, voltage stabilizer using the this diode. An interesting option is if we have 16 volts and at the input uh, of the boost module, in which case we can use this input voltage directly for heating, uh, leaving the stabilizer. Of course, instead of the boost module, uh, you can use a transformer with 40 volts DC output after active air plus 16 volt AC output for heating tube. I used the described power supply because I had the boost module at the time of the construction. Uh, this is the input section. Uh, consists of a capacitor and potentiometer uh, with value of 1 mega ohm, uh, which is adjusted the gain of the amplifier. This part is the heart of the amplifier. Uh, the PCL82 tube, which consists of a triode and pentode, uh, plus two resistors and one capacitor. Instead of PCL82, uh, without any change in the schematic, ECL82 can be used, in which case the heating voltage should be 6.3 volts. Uh, and finally, the output part, uh, which consists on an audio transformer taken out of an old tube radio, or is, in my case, a uh, 220 to 6 volts mains transformer, uh, with power of about 5 watts, whose secondary part is connected to, the, to a speaker. In fact, the amplifier is located on this top panel on which the tube and the audio transformer are mounted and the rest of the parts are located in the box. The boost module, potentiometer and the speaker are integral parts of the amplifier and on this part 
uh, there are voltage stabilizer that generate several different voltages that in the future I plan to use to power other external devices. And now let's see in, in reality how this small audio amplifier looks and sounds. As a signal source I will use the line out output from the computer. With no input signal present, with the potentiometer in the far right position, no noise or hum is heard, which is a signal of a well conducted ground and a well filtered supply voltage. you'll have to trust me about the sound quality because you'll hardly be able to notice it on a YouTube video. about 1 watt without unpleasant audible distortions which is quite sufficient for the purpose for which I built it. Namely, I will use this amplifier in my next simple radio projects as an audio output part. However, with high sensitivity speakers with a light membrane with a large surface area, this power is quite sufficient for normal listening. Let's trace the output signal on an oscilloscope when the sinusoidal signal from the tone generator is brought to the input. For this purpose I will use this multifunctional device which is basically a two-channel oscilloscope but also has a signal generator with a frequency up to 7 MHz. To my great surprise I found that there is also an option for FFT spectral analysis of the signal that is spectral analysis, purple color. Also, is the purpose of this instrument uh, is not to measure distortions and signal straight but we can determine these characteristics approximately by visual inspection of the output signal. At the input of the amplifier uh, we bring the sinusoidal signal with a frequency of 1 kHz uh, the shape of which is represent, represented in blue color and the output signal is yellow and connected to the speaker. 
uh, the spectrum analysis is in purple. Uh, now we amplify the output signal until we notice certain distortions of the yellow sinusoid. As you can see the sinusoid starts to distort at this lower point. We notice that the amplitude of the signal is about 2, two volts pp. Since we know that the resistance of the speaker used is 4 ohms, according to the ohms law, the output power is about 1, wa one watt uh, with minimal distortions. The device is built into a situable box made of a 5mm PVC board and lined with a self-adhesive wallpaper and it also serves as a speaker box. At the maximum power it has a, a big uh, distortion. This is clear sound. In the following, we will briefly look at the manufacturing method of this small amplifier. <laughs> 